Hello. Happy Tuesday, everybody. We're back. I think I potentially wore <laughs> this exact shirt last time. I remember looking at myself last week and seeing this gray t-shirt. Um, got a request from you, Jake. Quick, I mean, amazing, actually. Jake with the game request before I even started streaming. That's the dedication that we need from the fan base on this channel. Beautiful. So let's reward him um, for that, and let's get a game started. Oh, man, we got official Gidfather. Unfortunately, you are cl as close to first as possible, but it actually was Jay Ocelot who was first today. But Gideon, you know you are the first in my heart, and you also know that there are no other Scrabble players of whom I have a tote bag dedicated to them. So that's a pretty impressive accomplishment. So we're going to play Scrabble for a couple hours this afternoon where I am or wherever you are, early evening, morning. Welcome aboard, Scrabble fans. Let's play a little bit. Yeah, long time no see for sure. It's good to see you, uh, Gideon. How are you doing? Um, so something that I'm... That you might see in the stream title um, is I didn't even know that this was a thing until I saw it on Facebook. Alchemist Cup 2024 has been announced. Wow, that is amazing. So the Alchemist Cup, Alchemist being an anagram, partial anagram of the event organizer Michael Tang, St. Michael. Um, Alchemist Cup is an awesome event. It was one of the great Scrabble experiences of my life, um, traveling all the way to um, Malaysia to play Scrabble as part of Team USA. What an experience that was. A team of five, the five top-rated U.S. players at the time that were able to go, which was myself, Jesse Day, Conrad Bassett Bouchard, Dave Wiegand, and Evans Clinchy. Wow, that's a hell of a team. And amazingly, we came in second on tiebreakers to Team Australia, another extremely strong team. It was an amazing time. I've never been that far to play Scrabble. It's my first overseas trip to play. And it took a lot out of me from an energy standpoint, but man, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to play. Uh, and I have a little poll up on screen in the bottom of how how hard do you guys think I should train for Alchemist Cup 2024? I have all the options. <laughs> Gideon says he's the greatest of all time. I don't dispute that, Gideon, but you do have to achieve the rating that is required to to get to that point it is a rating based thing unfortunately so i know you're the greatest we all do know that but you have to get that rating up to where you can represent the u.s um so it's tricky it's tricky to do it's hard it's very uh difficult to get a nice high scrabble rating but that is how the eligibility is uh, determined. So, okay. Let's see. And if I'm going to participate, I need to put forth a better performance on stream. <laughs> I have to show that I'm I have to show that I'm worthy. So, this is not playable here. Unfortunately, that's a Collins word. I would probably play that normally. So, what to do then? I guess I could play So, this is a word. If I can play something getting rid of, I would love to get rid of at least an A, love to get rid of this, love to get rid of this, and I would love to score some points while I'm at it, and that probably requires the P. So am I supposed to play this? This doesn't look very good, although I guess it's not that bad. It makes a little spot to the triple. It gets rid of all this clunky stuff, but I feel like I can do better. I feel like I can do better than this. I think I should do something like... Should I do Pang and set up Panga? Or should I just play Panga? 
That has the negative of leaving my U. <laughs> 627 doesn't cut it, yeah. Hey, there's still, you got a lot of time to get that rating up. But, but it also has to be Collins. So this event is a worldwide event. It has players from all over the world. People from 10 different countries are going to form teams of five. There probably will be some at-large teams that aren't from a particular country but have a bunch of people collected from uh, places without five super strong players, which that happens from time to time. Um, but it was a, it was a big it was a really good experience for me challenging to fly that far to play maybe a little environmentally compromised i'm not sure how to feel about that aspect of it where you know should we really be flying halfway across the world to play scrabble when we could be doing it online of course um but it's not the same as the feeling of sitting across the board from the luminaries of the scrabble world all right, I'm going to play I'm going to play Gap. Ugh, these plays look so bad. Hey Scrabble, what's going on? Nice to see you. Just uh, just talking about the the news from Scrabble Land of Alchemist Cup 2024 being announced by the organizer Michael Tang, which I certainly am going to try to get myself in good form as I take five minutes on this very marginal play to start the game. All right, let's do Pang. I don't really know what to do here. The nice thing about that is I have an A hook here and here, so maybe I get a seven-letter word that plays in multiple spots. I really don't like this play. This can't be, this can't be right. Okay, well, I drew exactly the right thing. <laughs> So now I have a bunch of seven letter words in this spot. So I can play this, I can play this, so I can play it here too. We're gonna urinate on Jake one way or another. <laughs> let, me, let me stay brand appropriate here. Um, okay. Um, so, Pang doesn't feel, oh yeah, I could play Pung. Yeah, maybe AA, duplicated A's. I just immediately assume, but that can't be, it can't be right. I have to do something else. I was just brain freezing because the play I would make it would in Collins would be G-A-U-P. Um, and I just was struggling to get beyond that. All right, let me see. Taurine, urinate, ruinate. Uranite. I don't think the E is in the right spot. This is the only le letter I have that goes here. So I probably am going to have to play something like this. That seems fine. Let's do this and move on. Um, <laughs> hey, Jello Mochas. Jello Mochas, do you, do you, are you aware of the news? of Alchemist Cup 2024, and will you? do you think you would try to participate? I think Jellomocha's in a year's time when the qualification period starts could easily work his way into the conversation for the US team if he was so motivated. Is that something you think you would try to do? Um, I certainly, it's, it's a long way, it's a long way to go to play Scrabble. Um, but it was, it was a really special experience for me. And I think I am going to try to go for it again. Um, but we'll see. It's a lot of time between now and then. And I don't, I feel a little bit like my life as a player is, it's harder for me to find time to maximize my skills as a player lately. Um, but that's just a lot of the reason for that is a, that, that I've been waiting for a tournament like Worlds or Alchemist Cup to come back on the calendar uh, to really galvanize myself to be be the best Scrabble player I can be, and this this might qualify for me. Um, so, okay, let's see. I have a J. I definitely want to play my J. 
this is probably not good enough. I think I would prefer playing something like this just to get a few extra points. That's 31 points. Is there really no... I don't have any play here. Fjord. I don't know. For some reason, I'm not seeing a good play to this R. Um, but yeah, that was crazy. I just remember we had, we almost had this incredibly epic comeback at the very end of Alchemist where we needed the most precise possible thing to happen. It was like we had to go 5-0 and oh, and Australia had to go 0-5 oh, and, and that way we would pass them. And instead we didn't quite make it. It was crazy. I think we got to like 4-0 and 0-4 oh, and oh and when we needed 5-0 and 0-5. Oh, and oh and so we were like this close to the most miraculous comeback. Um, didn't quite get there. And I, I got to say I had a loss in round 44 of 45 that just really it, it ate at me at the time because i definitely i made a mistake i played a phony early in the game and lost the game and uh, i felt like i mean all of us probably on the u.s team at various points probably felt like we had lost a game or two here or there that we should have won but i i certainly felt disappointed let's say um, that I had lost a game on the final day that I that I ought to have won, I think. All right, I could do this. That's a lot of points. There's probably... I bet I have some thing that doesn't use my S. This is not a word I can play. Uh, let me just try not to... Let me see if we... Let's see how far we can get in this stream without missing a bingo. Can I can I make it without missing a bingo for very long here? Oh man, now what? Because this is a word. But I can't really go very far beyond that. Um, this seems pretty good. 46 points leaving AT. It seems okay. Do I have a better... Like there are other things to do here that are not clearly not as good from a point scoring standpoint. What about just this? <laughs> uh, it's kind of tempting. All right, I don't have a ton of time after I've been taking forever, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, so yeah, I mean the question, I have my little poll, which I'm just gonna leave up for the duration of the stream. You know, it's, I'm, I'm now is the time for me to come up with my stance of like, how hard do I wanna train as a player for before Alchemist Cup? Do I wanna do stuff like, do I wanna do stuff like learn nine letter words or learn, when I put yaw down, it short it scored the score showed the score pop up next to the J in Joe. Let's try, test that with a different word. That is weird. Huh. I wonder. I wonder. Um, anyway, I have a bingo here. Let's just play on stage and move on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have, I have my meme. My meme answer is, uh, is answer four. Um, train like a bad man and wear the American flag glasses every game. Um, which... I think that's what I actually mean by that is like how I've have I ever like there are things that I could do as a player that I've never done before and should I do those things right I've never studied nine letter words they're very marginal in terms of the improvement that you get from learning those words but for an event like that where you want to be your absolute best I would consider it right I would consider going the extra extra mile um, but of course it takes that takes time right you have to you have to do stuff 
at the expense of other things you might do. If you're going to learn the nines, it takes time and energy and it gives you very little benefit. So you really got to want it uh, to do stuff like that. Um, this is not going to be playable here. Is there a word like that here, though? Is it possible I should just play Neb here? This is kind of fun because of this, but the setup is kind of compromised. There's not a lot that I'm going to get that actually fits there unless I get the case S, which has, if I get the case S, then I'm in a good position anyway because I have stuff over in these areas. So it's not really, um, it's not really a big deal. Uh, Tara says, hi, Will. Enjoy your streams and watching you play. Of course. Thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Um, still, you know, still believe that there's sort of untapped ceiling in what we can do in terms of Scrabble content that's entertaining and instructional and all that stuff. But the best way is to just get on and make some content, you know, start making content see how it goes and hope people like it. So it's very, it's very nice to, to see those kind comments. Thank you. Um, high probability nines are worth it. Yeah. So yeah, right. So, um, option four on that list is basically like going all out, like to a level that like, I feel like option three, train a lot, represent USA with pride. That would be learn some high probability nines, right? Like the top few, th top thousand or two nines that come up a lot. Train like a madman would be get to Dave Wiegand nines level, right? That would be that. It would be practice my end game on, until I'm just crazy, crazy good. Oh yeah, I was taken out, too bad. That word, this word hurts is definitely not be in there. So I just wanted to check and see if it was somehow in this, but yeah, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, that option four is the option for the complete bonkers, you know, study, study so hard that it defies all reason and logic, but we're just going to do it anyway. Uh, let's do that. Um, Okay, so now I have an O for bongo. That's nice. I have a Y for this spot. That's also nice. I do not quite have a place to place. <laughs> this fun word doesn't quite fit either through this E or through this E. Um, let's see. I could, uh, this is obviously a pretty solid option. Cozy for 46. I would think that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> Gideon, jeez, that's going to be Gideon. That's going to become copy pasta. I feel like that's destined to become copy pasta. I wish that were true. I don't, I don't, I feel a little bit like, um, there, you know, there are some, there are some projects that I had, like my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel of my own, as opposed to twitch.tv slash Scrabble, that were really gaining a little bit of traction. And I just feel like um, working on Scrabble stuff all the time makes it tough for me to go back and once I'm done <laughs> doing all, all of my normal day's work, I kind of want to do stuff that's not Scrabble and as crazy and as blasphemous as that sounds. So I've sort of neglected my Twitch stream and neglected my uh, YouTube channel a bit. But I truly have a desire to get back to that. Um, so I guess that's probably okay. I'd rather, uh, well, should I do this? This is actually a brutal... So by leaving off the Y, I pretty much, unless Jake plays A something in that spot, I have a pretty good chance of getting a nice follow-up here without exposing anything on the triple lane. So it's kind of tempting to do this. In Collins, this takes an E, so I wouldn't want to do that. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's do this because it's fun. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> okay, so the only the only actual issue with this setup that I'm realizing now is that the Y really prefers to be the last letter. 
in words where there is a Y. So the fact that I'm putting it here, basically a lot of the time it commits me to having a bingo that fits ending in Y, or I'm gonna struggle to score and actually hit this spot. So, I mean, it's fine to play Viney. Funny thing about that is it takes an L. So if I drew a L, it would then score a ton of points. But of course I can just not I don't have to play Viney. I could just play Ivy or something and uh, eliminate that possibility completely. So, uh, oh, thanks, Gideon. Um, I mean, it's it's a little that's that's too much credit to me, and I really obviously feel like you know we've we've done a lot. The streams that we've seen, the official coverage of the Word Cup, SBC, Scrabble, the um, school Scrabble. Those were already sort of happening prior to me, so I can't, I'm not gonna take extra credit for that. Um, and obviously people like Axer Typo are, are, you know, Josh is just doing so much more than I am to keep that content flowing on Twitch and YouTube lately. So um, don't, don't wanna take an outsized amount of credit there. Uh, okay, I've gotten myself into a little bit of a pickle. I'm gonna play Viney just because if I draw AL, it'll be really cool. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, I drew all the A's. So you can see the unseen letters. There are L's that I can draw. I'll, I'll pro if this, I don't think this spot is gonna stay open, but this would be a great play to score well, potentially draw my L and get my cool play and just get out of this game unscathed. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gideon, I'm so, oh man, my, my heart went out to you for that so much. That was just brutal. Um, but you know, it happens. We've all been there. We really have. No one here hasn't had a situation. Well, let me, okay, double negatives. Um, Everyone has had situations where they've had games like that and even high profile games like that. So hopefully, uh, I know you're saying it in jest and I'm sure you're not too worried about it, but I just wanna say that you made me very proud with how you guys played in School Scrabble and handled the, the game that you had to. Um, all right, let's see. Um, I need to make a play here before I go into overtime. And I will play, I need to get rid of some of these eyes. How do I do that? Iliac, cilia. Um, maybe icier is what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Uh, oh, you know, I didn't even think about what <laughs> I need to, I should have been considering, can Jake bingo out on me and lose, I'll lose the game. <laughs> I didn't think about that at all. Um, oh yeah, Tara, this is totally uh, available to anyone to play. Let me just see what the custom command is for this. It's, uh, oh right, it's play Scrabble. So um, play Scrabble. So this command, hopefully, is that gonna work? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, never mind. I had it shut off. Let me try again. So it's, let me try this again. Play Scrabble. There we go. Um, so there's the info on the site that we're using. <laughs> there is there is no Woogles command on, on stream Jello Mochas, but obviously nothing, nothing but respect for Woogles and that team and their site is awesome. So, um, Trying to build something pretty awesome here too. Still in the early days, so we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, so I have 13 seconds here to finish this game. I don't have very good letters. I have a do that maybe plays somewhere. Doubt it actually. So I didn't get my L for my fun vinyl play. I almost want Jake to just play AL just to, so it can be on the board at least. Um, but maybe he's not thinking about it. Although he is in chat here. <laughs> maybe if I didn't play BS like potato and toddlers. Well, toddlers, I mean, toddlers looks like there's not that likely to be anything much better. That seems like a pretty, pretty reasonable choice. Um, it certainly doesn't look immediately like you missed something to me. So, um, 
Do I, I guess I, I could play this next turn. And then I have AAE, which is gonna either play here or I'm not really sure where else here. But those areas are both pretty blockable, so whatever. Um, oh, maybe I should play somewhere else. Maybe I should play DUI somewhere else. Let me not say D DUI, Dewey. Um, hello, Muffin with Tentacle. Nice to see you. Um, playing it with Pangs was nine more, but you but you can't play it with Pangs. Oh, you could play something else with Pangs. Okay, so you could have played Rattles or Riddles or something and Pangs. Okay, I understand. That makes sense. Um, hey, Jeremy, what's going on? Um, so, oh, that's a, that would be a great question. So I asked this question to, um, Jello Mochas earlier, who is a former North American Scrabble champion. And we also have Muffin with Tentacle, who is himself a former North American Scrabble champion. And I'm so curious if he's seen the news about Alchemist Cup and whether, and whether Muffin with Tentacle is gonna, is gonna go for it for Team Canada, which would be great. We would love to see it. Uh, ooh, I need to play. Um, and now I think Jake is likely to go out. Oh, he plays vinyl after all. Oh, I missed, I could have played Ally for better. I could have played better. Uh, hold on, I'll show you guys. So my final play, I could have just played in the spot that I initially pointed out. I could have just played A L A E, making overlaps, but I freaked out. Oh no, that's not right. What happened here? Hold on, I will fix this. I promise. Drawing. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Canada group chat is already sharing strats. So that, I mean, that's actually really interesting. So to me, the, the interesting thing about this, and if anyone else wants to challenge me to a game, you should feel free, of course. We've just finished the first game of the stream. But like, Canada has a number of players. So I think Muffin with Tentacles already been mostly playing uh, the Collins word list, which is the international or UK English, if you're familiar with Scrabble Go. So this event is going to be using that dictionary. So for players that have been historically more focused on the North American dictionary, there is going to be a learning curve to learning extra words to compete overseas. Um, but there are players like Axer Typo, the winner of the Word Cup, uh, U U.S. English Division, Jackson Smiley. You know, there's a lot of uh, very good Canadian players where if they just decide that this is an event that they're motivated to compete and do well in, Canada's going to have a really good team. So I'm just imagining, you know, Adam Logan, Matthew Tunnicliffe, Josh Sokol, and Jackson Smiley rolling out there as your top four with, I don't know who the fifth, I don't know who the, the fifth um, player is there, but surely there could be any number. Oh, jo oh, Castellano. Okay, there you go. So there's, that's a pretty good team. Oh, Borowski too. So there's no shortage. There really is no shortage of pretty scary people. Um, <laughs> Austin votes. <laughs> hey, hey, Austin. Austin with the most humane vote so far. S train a little and live a balanced life. Um, that is, that's probably the answer that's going to happen, unfortunately. Much as you all want me to train like a bad man and wear American flag apparel of various types. Um uh, Noah Slackoff is a, another absolutely great choice. If Noah Slackoff was motivated to, you know, crush it, learn his words, he is one of the most talented players out there. So Canada, Canada, you heard it here first. Um, <laughs> definitely do. Yeah. The glasses. Yeah. So for, uh, uh, uh Jello Mocha's, uh, jokingly redeemed this, which I haven't streamed in forever on my own channel, but I have a channel point reward, which I do feel like this is appropriate for this stream as I'm talking, I'm talking about representing USA, USA, USA. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be a good U S team for sure, especially now with Austin <laughs> potentially playing for, for us. This is a, this is another really good question for, for Austin in the chat. Austin, do you think you will, I mean, I feel like it's a must that Austin's going to play Alchemist 2024. The only question is, you know, what what team? I guess I would hope that Austin's playing for Team US, but maybe maybe UK. I don't know. I think last when we discussed when in 2020 before the 2020 Alchemist Cup got canceled, Austin was playing for Team US, which is going to make us even more of a handful. So, um, all right, I'll just start a game with the computer. If somebody sends me a request, uh, if if I'm not that far along in this game, I'll hop into a human request. But just to get some. Some Scrabble going here. Um, okay. Oh, I did it in English US too. <laughs> uh, oh, Jake says I'll play again. All right, I'll play a quick game against the computer and we'll see if anybody else has put, put in their uh, request to play. So, okay, gain is kind of an interesting play. I have an A hook here. Um, I don't know. This is not, this doesn't really hit anything. So 15 points doesn't feel like it's good enough. What about just this? Oh, VI. It's not Babel Royale. <laughs> Jeez. What was I even thinking of? Mode is not, that can't be right. This is getting closer to right, but I can't play it here. Uh,. I don't know. Not sure. Oh, we got GT man coming in with a challenge. Okay. <laughs> Austin says I'll play for whoever offers me the most money and biggest mansion to live. That hey, we like that. We like that. Um I don't know what I'm supposed to play here, so I'm just going to abandon this game and move into my game <laughs> with GT man. Let's accept this invitation. Hopefully I didn't miss a bingo. Oh. This flow is a little tortured. Okay, there we go. Um, we've started this game. Thank you very much to GT Man. Play Dev and fish for Among, among Us. Yeah. <laughs> how does how does one say that meme? Move and again. Yes, that was what I should play. It is way easier to resign. That's the that's the. Uh... Oh wait, GT Man looks like he might be. I might have caught him by surprise here. Maybe the resignation is imminent. Okay, unfortunately, yeah. So he can just challenge me again. Oh, okay. What happened there? Uh, Gideon says he'll play too. So we got awesome. I would be happy to take requests from either of you guys. GT Man did get his game request in first. I says he says I glitched, which is fine. If you get me another request, I'm happy to take that. Um, so, all right. So that means the U S Scrabble Federation, which doesn't exist, needs to, uh, roll out the red carpet for Austin, maybe grease the wheels a little bit, get him, get him some, you know, better accommodations and he'll play for, for us. Um, though that I guess implies that some other Scrabble Federation is going to furnish Austin with a mansion which, frankly, would be a good investment in their team's performance, but maybe not as good of an investment in just use of funds. <laughs> Hopefully we can get to that point, right? Aren't there, aren't there, um, you know, there's drama surrounding chess players, right? Like, there are chess players who the federation that they play for is, like, there is some behind-the-scenes wheeling and dealing of, uh, like getting the really good chess players to play for specific federations. Isn't that true? Are there any chess, chess bunzo, paging chess bunzo to the chat? Help us understand, please. Um, isn't that a thing? Okay, heady is the play. This is a much easier rack. <laughs> it's not, not very, I mean, I'm close to a bingo. I guess I would play this, I think. When in doubt, Chi is often correct. I don't know. I think this seems reasonable. Okay. So I drew a bingo here. 
There is, this is not playable in this lexicon. Otherwise I would probably play that. Although if this were a word, it would create a nice big A hook here, which I'm not loving, but it's probably worth it. However, I do have just Neroli's somewhere here. Anything through this E, a loiners does not quite fit correctly. Anything through this Y, I don't think so. Ooh, okay, so kin comes down and makes the big S hook for me, so that's helpful. And we move on. <laughs> Muffin Botanical says, we could make you Earl of Newfoundland. That's pretty good, even if it's just an honorific. If that's just a, a, a meaningless title, I would still... I would still do Scrabble tournaments if that were my reward to get an official earlship. That would be great. If any titles are out there like that, let me know. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I have these glasses mostly as an ironic commentary. <laughs> oh man, Federacy, oh my God. Crusher, 104 point bingo. <laughs> That's very nice. I have never been to Iceland, uh, Jake. That's awesome that you're going. Is that just for pleasure or is there, I mean, I assume, do people go to Iceland on business? Um, but uh, yeah, Federacy is savage. That's a pretty amazing play. Nicely done. Uh, this is kind of a fun play. Uh, this has actually a high likelihood of being the right play. Um, but let's just quickly imagine if there was something somewhere else, what would it be? Uh, like something through this R. This isn't a word here, nor is there really a great play if there was. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be tough. I think this is actually surprisingly good. It scores 26, which is decent. It uses one of my two U's. It creates an E hook that then maybe I draw an E and create more space down the board. So I don't know. I probably have to do this. Um, let's try. Wow. Okay. So we got this. I also have a bingo on my rack that doesn't play anywhere i don't think of volutin or volutin i don't even know how you would say this but that is a word um friend is going to europe for work just meeting him in iceland after work since we've always wanted to go awesome that's super cool so my um my wife's cousin's husband is from iceland and is a great guy. Uh, she just hung out with him a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, my plays all get blocked, unfortunately. So we'll have to come up with something else. But yeah, I mean, I am, I am familiar with the Icelandic custom of naming, which is pretty amazing. Like you, you can be named, like all the Icelandic names are sons, like Anderson, but then the daughters have something daughter, basically which is, is pretty cool. Um, I had multiple plays in mind. Uh-oh, what, am I missing something? Oh, wait, do I have like Volution or something else? Um, yeah, Will's daughter, exactly. Um, so yeah, wait, I had Involute. I don't, I don't wanna miss a bingo this stream. I've missed so many recently. Why, why don't I see it? But anyway, I think this is probably what I'm supposed to play here. Just because this rack isn't very good and this scores kind of decently. <laughs> Nigel Richards, nice. Nigel Richards memorized the Icelandic dictionary. Who, honestly, it is impossible to tell that, it would be impossible to know on its face that that's not, that's just, uh, a, you know, just being silly as opposed to a, a true, a real fact. How would we know, right? It's totally plausible, <laughs> unfortunately, for the rest of us. Uh, all right, I don't think I have anything through an A. I'm just looking and I can't see it, so I'm pretty sure outgiven is likely the best I can do here. Let's just go ahead with it. 
Um, all right, tell me what I missed. What what did I miss here? <laughs> Thank you, Ampha Roaster. Yeah, this is uh this is a, a new look, but if you're an old time uh, viewer of Wanderer 15's n n dormant channel. I say that I talk of myself in the in the uh, third person now. This used to be a very popular channel point reward um, for people to redeem. Um, so I am bringing it out because it is somewhat relevant. Um, oh, all my plays got blocked, but I only considered involute. Yes, fair enough. Okay, that I understand. That I understand. So yes, um, this look has appeared before on Twitch, just not maybe not on this channel. Um, so all right, I got hit with the massive Federacy for a hundred, but I'm not down by that much. Maybe maybe I can like this E hook right here, Dauphine. That's gonna loom large just because it's gonna score well to play down here, and anybody that plays an E is gonna open up an S. So I really, I can draw some good combos that get me back into the game with scoring plays. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm, not all is lost. I guess I should be thinking a little bit about whether I have a bingo here. I don't, my spider sense suggests that I don't. I don't feel like I have a bingo here. Um, so... Yeah, let's see. Um, I also don't think I'm likely to have a good play up here. If I did, it would probably be something like this. This isn't a word, only sticky S, alms for the poor. Uh, I don't think I have anything from this F. Um, okay, so what then? doesn't this is kind of <laughs> it's not a lot okay maybe there's some crazy play here is there like a massive massive play here we're not gonna get we're not gonna get a, a hard stand moment this time i don't think where i accidentally luck into guessing a nine i don't think i have a 10 here <laughs> Pepperomia. <laughs> see, see, that's, I don't know anything. I don't know any words like that. So that would be, if I was really going to do option four in the poll, I would try to learn stuff like that in the, in the one in a bazillion chance that it was actually useful. Um, all right. So remail. Uh, oh, this is just so bad. Dollar. There's two blanks, so I would love to get blanks. I would love to get an E. I would love to get S's along with my E. These are all things that I want. Oh, maybe there's like... No, there's nothing here. I guess I don't think Axial is a very good play. It keeps a balanced lead, but it only scores 12, and that's not really that inspiring. What about here? That doesn't feel worth it. It's 22. That's 22 is actually more than I've managed to come up with with almost any of my other options here, but I don't think that doesn't feel great. I, I feel like there might be something here, but I don't know what it could be. All right, um, I just don't know. <laughs> Axial, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, it's, frankly, it's, I didn't mean to roast it. It's actually, there's not a lot else going on on this board. It keeps that nice balanced leave, like I said. All the other plays are really uninspiring, so it's possible that it's a good play here. I just feel like I want to turn, I want to, given that this board is so tight and so bad for bingoing, I kind of want to turn over more tiles and open a little something at a deficit. So I kind of, I feel like I'm actually leaning towards playing dollar here, as crazy as that sounds. Um, 
I would love to use my eye if I could, but I don't really see how to do that. Okay, let's do it. I don't know. My instincts are not, I shouldn't, shouldn't trust my instincts blindly here, but we're gonna try this and see what we get. Okay, interesting. Bit of a grab bag. Oh, formal fishing for formalin is actually a cool idea. Yeah, I bet that's a I bet that is a play that sims well, if not necessarily best. Maybe it does sim best. But that's a pretty clever idea. I like that. Um formal, what would that have kept? It would have kept IL. Yeah, it would have kept IL. So that seems pretty good. Um not that it's uh, I mean, it's it. Given that I can't score very much with any of my other plays, like whenever you're in a situation where you can't score that much, it is more okay than usual to go off the beaten path and find something clever. Like if you are passing up a a legit, you know, thirty or forty point play to do some crazy clever idea, that's one thing. But if the best you can do is like twenty points, then sure, why not make a little sacrifice to do something clever? that gives you kind of a different chance of getting getting back into the game. I like that idea. You see, this is why we need Jello Mochas on Team US and that I need to bat, I need to step aside and not uh, and not get in the way. Um, which I mean that's Oh boy, that's bad. Spirier. Okay, we're in trouble now. Uh, and it used the S hook, so there's no more fun to be had in that area. So we're we're in some trubs. I would say critical condition. I just got critted for sure. I got critted. Um, so we'll see. Uh, yes, yeah, GT. Yeah, GT man has no problem beating me on stream every time. Pretty much, I am not able to beat this guy. So he needs to step into the ring and play for either America or Canada for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, what am I doing here with this J? I guess I'm supposed to play Haji. Both Bs are unseen. This is really uninspiring. I need a bingo and then a B. I am uh, maybe I need to concoct some craziness like that. Do I really not have anything better for this J? That just it just boggles my mind that that's not possible. Um, but maybe not. So this would be just the doctor ordered if it were playable to play. Yeah, but it is not. Okay, let's try for this. Let's hope I dodge a B. Maybe I'll draw one. Uh... I don't know. Wamafoos. This is one of the silliest. This is one of the silliest words. Calling calling your stomach your wame is just amazing. That's a shout out to Rafi Stern for that one, actually. But but this this word means a belly full. Like your wame is full, like a wam wame foo. I have a wame foo of food <laughs> it's just wonderful i mean i think that's hilarious i guess there are plenty of people out there who would see that and be like wtf this is horrible um yeah this is a word i think it's hilarious um do i do i have anything through this r uh, i don't know i don't think so so it would be E E M O R S U W. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, there we go. That that ought to do it for this game for me. Locators, nice play. Um, didn't even use a B in it. Um, this is a word. That's kind of fun. So we'll play we'll play this, leaving E blank. Maybe I'll draw. <laughs> Maybe I'll draw a B just for fun. Let's try that. Oh God. Okay. Well, now I'm fully expecting a B play to come down and crush me, and then I will have to do something else than turgites. 
So normally I would want this to stay open for 80. Of course, that blocks my Baji play, but whatever. It's probably better than Grisette or something like that. Do I have... Do I have something... I don't think I have anything interesting through this M. Not quite emitting. Mitigate, all of those are not quite there. Uh, I have no idea who GT Man is. Obviously a very talented player. I'm, you know, just crushing me with the bingos here. Um, Federacy Spirier Locators is pretty pretty flashy series of plays. So very nice. Um, maybe it's Jeff. It's Jeff Thevino. Um, bu bullying. Wow, that's so funny. It's. It didn't want me to play that for bullying, uh, or let or let Scrabble say that for bullying. I don't know what kind of bullying that is, but maybe Haji. I, I guess that could have some negativity. Whatever, it's totally fine. Uh, all right, what do I do here? Do I? I guess I have to do this. It's just a lot of points, man. I knew I was gonna get that. <laughs> that's still that's still a pretty good. It's it's not a bad play to just play like fob or something um but hold on let me just not miss anything better so tivy uh i don't know maybe i have a chance here is it possible how could i how could i do this yeah i don't think i don't think it's jeff i don't think it's jeff i, I agree um for various reasons um um Oh, Faji. I thought for some reason, getting my wires crossed here. Yeah, I mean, this isn't, I need to play something else that's not that, unfortunately. I guess I could play like, that's not worth it either. Okay, that's v intriguing, I think. I would wish to have a better play through this end right now. I don't have one. I wonder, I mean, this pool is terrifying. I feel like if I leave this spot open, I'm going to get hammered through this end, but I kind of need it to be open. So there are six vowels and six consonants. Otherwise, I would be pretty happy to just play fob here and try to draw something through. Ideally, the end, this is very likely to be blocked, so probably I'm... I'm hoping to hit something here if it stays available that would be that's my pathway i think but let me let's just imagine here if i was gonna play if i was gonna play through this n and try to score a boatload of points now what would i do <laughs> I don't know, like beamed. Leaving F O, which is not what I want at all. It also, it just, I think I probably need to play here and preserve everything as a threat. Maybe I draw, maybe I draw like blank, blank and I don't even know what I, I need the blank for sure. Bun is a play that sure looks like I would be playing in, in confidence because I had the blank. So I'm very, I feel myself to be extremely unlikely <laughs> to get the blank here, but I don't know. I guess I have to go for it, don't I? Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Even this isn't like, I don't, do I even have a good play through this N with my Z? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is not playable here. This seems bad. This seems bad. <laughs> bone deaf. <laughs> deaf bone. Bean fed. All great choices. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I don't know if it's a great idea to leave that N open, but I don't I don't really have any wonderful ideas for how to miraculously try to win this game otherwise. So we'll just 
hope for the best, I guess. I don't really, I don't see it happening for me this game, which is all right. Um, so yeah, Involute getting blocked. And I think it made, so the play that like turned the game was this one, which was a, that's a pretty reasonable play to make, just blocking. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Finishing me off. Finishing me off in style with Sanatine. Sanatina. I think this is a plural, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Sanatina. That's probably okay, even though it sets up Nam for a lot of points. Is that possibly... It's 49 points. Is there a way to not have that happen? That same same thing. Uh, okay, that's fine. It probably scores enough points to do no matter what. <laughs> D's, yeah, D's nuts. I wonder if that's coming. I mean, that would be a pretty hel That would be a pretty helpful word to have in the dictionary. D's. I will definitely take Pog first. I mean, they gotta get Pog in first. <laughs> I hate cats and kinder. <laughs> Yep, nothing, nothing weird here. Just a little discussion of uh, D's nuts on the official Scrabble stream. All right, GT man crushing me again. A 554, not much you can say. Four bingos, uh, very nicely done. I think I played all right. I don't know. If anybody saw any big misses I made, I'm happy. I mean, dollar might not have been correct. But I'm okay with most of the rest of the game. Um <laughs> the Babel Dictionary. Yeah, well, the Babel Dictionary is, it has even QBAP in it, which I feel a little conflicted about because your average person is going to have no clue what QBAP is. So that's why I picked UWU first instead of QBAP, which is the, you know, the prevailing meme from my own channel. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, um, people are probably going to see that and be like, what the heck? Tabletop. And we allow slang if the player could make a convincing case that the word should be legit. Yeah, that's I've heard that. I've heard of that style, which, um, you know, that's people play home rules that are very different from what we're accustomed to. Four handed games, three handed games. Frankly, I love it all. I love all forms of Scrabble like word games. Uh, GG DT man. Hey, Lola. How are you? Nice to see you. Um, so. Yeah, in between games here, just again, we've been talking a little bit for the last hour about the um, the announcement of Alchemist Cup 2024. So I know we're still here in 2022, and it feels like a long, long way away to think about 2024, but that tournament was incredible. It was probably the most... It was probably the best vibes I've ever had at a Scrabble tournament, and that includes my, me winning the national championship in 2017. I loved playing on a team. I loved feeling like I would come out after my game, I would go to my U.S. teammates, and I lost the game, but three of my teammates had won because the way it worked is you and your four teammates as a team of five sorry, five, would uh, compete against another team and their team of five players. And your team simply had to win three games and you would take the round. So I remember coming out of the playing room, losing a tough game and hearing that three of my badass teammates had won their games and that we still won the round. And I'd be like, yes, I love you teammates. And then there were times where I would come out of the playing room and my teammates were looking at me Curious to see how I did, and I would say, I won. And they said, yes, that means we win 3-2. to two. And I was like, yes, I'm a friggin' hero, right? I'm the hero of this round. And uh, basically what I'm saying is, it, if you're doing Alchemist Cup, you should be the slowest player each round so you can come out and <laughs> get that feeling. No, don't be the first one out in the hallway, and then you'll have to wait for the rest. That's not, that's not what I meant. I just meant it was awesome to be on a team. So I'm really looking forward to hopefully qualifying again and traveling halfway across the world to play some Scrabble. It was super cool. Um, so, all right, let's see. Happy to take any more challenges. 
Uh, maybe ScrabbleGo can add a custom dictionary where players can add agreed upon words. The scary thing about that is that the brand holders, Hasbro and Mattel, will probably balk at the idea of user-created lexicons that have racial slurs in them, which have been expurgated. Not to open that can of worms as a discussion, but I think there's a possibility with a feature like that for hate speech to come back in, and it could it could outstrip our ability to moderate it too, right? Like we could just say that all lexicons, even user created ones can't have certain words in it, but then language is evolving kind of quick and stuff could get in that's offensive that I don't know. It's, it's tricky. I actually do really like the idea in principle though. Um, so, all right, let me play um, against the computer. I'm gonna play an English UK game against the computer. <laughs> GT man says he's going to do a handicap with no bingos. Yeah, I need it. I clearly need it. All right, let's do a 25 minute game on Grandmaster using UK English just as a change of pace. <laughs> and of course I get hit with a, <laughs> I get hit with a UK uh, uh, UK only bingo, but that's okay because I have this. All right. So, and then we draw very bad. Um so, yeah, so all this is going well. The because. <laughs> is, did I get that wrong? I, is, isn't because Collins only? Hold on. Yeah, okay, it is. And I thought Infotech, I thought Infotech was NWL. Okay, it is, it is, it is. All right, very good. I wasn't wrong about that. Okay. Now look at this, look at this beautiful rack. So the nice thing in Scrabble is when your rack is bad, like there, there comes a point where your rack is so bad that it doesn't actually matter that much that it becomes worse beyond that point because you're just gonna exchange anyway. So I feel like, okay, yes, this is a, this is a comedically terrible rack with four eyes on it, but I think Ex I think exchanging is in my future anyway, so it's not that big of a deal that it's this horrible. So I'll keep an A. I'll keep an A. Actually, you know what? There are a lot of A's to come, so I'm going to swap the A too. Even though in general we like A's. But, uh, oh, is suggestion of maybe aioli? Uh, I don't know. This leaves G-I-I -I for seven points. I, I think I'm okay exchanging. It's a good it's a good call out though. That maybe that's worth playing. But we'll just go ahead and exchange. Ooh. Okay. This looks good. Um maybe it looks better than it is though. Do I not have anything? Isn't there something, oh man, it feels like they're saying through O here, but I can't, I can't see it. Platoons, that's it, platoons. There we go, okay, I see it now. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Um, so, platoons, something through I, I doubt it. I'm gonna assume platoons is the best I can do. Okay, there we go. Oh man, look at these, look at these cool letters. Wow, what am I gonna do with all these? Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, fleek, yes, fleek. Fleek is such an interesting word, Lola, because I have, I have only ever heard of it as being on fleek, as it says in the, in the definition there. So the fact that you can have fleeks, right, is so weird. <laughs> like, why, why would that be? Why would that be that you can have fleeks? But who knows? I guess um, I trust. I I actually do not trust whatever lexicographers are responsible for our dictionary. But uh, you know they're doing their best. I I imagine. Um, so okay. I have some cool letters here. I don't think I have a way to get, oh, I have quad. So I do have a way of playing this. This is UK only. Do I have anything here? I obviously have this spot. 
but I don't think I have any good way of like playing Yumiak or something. Not quite this, UA, it's not a word. Oh, I could play quant. Oh, I could play quant. Or quanta. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, no singular entrail. Yeah, I feel like entrail is. I I totally feel like if fleeks is a word, entrail should be a word. And yeah, it is a Collins word. Um, so, all right, what do I do here? Quat is a lot more points. 56. 56 points compared to this. Is there any, like, crazy extensions that I'm going to have? Like, quant, quantum, quantumize? Or... I'm trying to imagine, like, what would there be? But, that, but this is 45 points to 56. 11 is a lot of points to give up. Uh, okay. I'm going to play quat here just because I'm down by a bit and I do need the points. So let's see how it goes. Uh, hmm, not the greatest draw. What did I just leave? A-I-M. So I drew G-U-R-R. -R. Okay, that's all right. We can figure it out. Um, we'll, see where, we'll see where the computer plays just because... All right. That's interesting. So canoodler is a word. But I think it's much likelier that I'm going to have something down here. Like just even just like mare scores 35. Undoubles. Undoubles my R's. Um, I had thought that maybe I, I almost had something here, but I don't think I do. Yeah. All right, so if I was going to play something with Canoodler, I guess the nice thing about Mare is that it leaves the Canoodler hook open. So if I draw something ending in an R, I will still have it in that spot. Um, do I have a six-letter word that goes all the way across here? That's not a word. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, um, much as I would prefer not to leave a U here, I'm going to do this. Is Canoodler good at NWL? I have no idea. I would assume yes, but I feel like that's a, twi a trick question. Or maybe there's a joke to it that I'm not understanding. Uh, all right, let's try this. Ugh. <laughs> Jeez. I have no idea what canoodler. I don't know. I don't know. Not. I know nines very poorly. Oh my god! Canoodler is only Collins. <laughs> Amazing. I had no idea. That's incredible. That feels like a totally normal word. Oh my god! Computers just won't let up. All right. Um, I don't feel like I've. I don't feel like I deserve this, <laughs> but maybe I do. <laughs> uh, all right. What to do here? I have Z, U, U. I want to use my Z. I also want to, oh man, it would be so nice if I could do something here. Bazoo, Razoo, Gazoo. <sighs> mm. I guess I could like or bow oh, maybe I play this instead. Is there maybe there's something that I can try to hit in this spot that's kind of nice like I don't know. Is a Z here? Up zag if you want to zig and zag. Dogitter, yes, I have Dogitter on my list. 
I have Doggeter on my list of easily confused Collins words. I'm pretty sure I would detect that and challenge it, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. That's a tough one. Um, I, I know it's on my list of like really easily confused words from the two lexicons. All right, I have no idea what to do here. Should I just do guru for 14? Should I do, yeah, I guess I would do that. Oh, these plays suck. These plays are so bad and I'm losing by 100. Should I play gub? Is there a way, how can I set my Z up here? I need to find a way to set my Z up. I don't know how. What about burger? Cause I like burgers. Tasty burger. Um, yeah, I could do Zaz, but I don't know. This feels so ugly, but 32 points is pretty good. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Maybe I should do this. Z-U-R feels like as good as I can get here, probably. Unbug would be even better. If I could do unbug, that I would do. All right, I don't know. Unbag, sure, I guess. Let's try it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. It's not going my way. Auger. Oh, Auger was way better. Yeah. Auger leaves Auger. Oh, wait, wait. No, that can't be. B blank Z. What am I? I did have that. Didn't I? But that's that's eight letters. Oh, right, 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 right. I didn't have the blank there. I didn't have the blank there. That's why. Of course. Of course. Yeah, that definitely, that looks, that looks better for sure. Um, okay, now I got all this crap. I can no longer play Razor through this A. Nice play of the six-letter word, by the way, visive. I guess I could play Zoa. <laughs> Zoa. I'm leaving three R's. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Or should I just play error? If I could type. Leaving ZU blank. Ugh, everything is horrible. This is just terrible. Should I play zero? Getting rid of at least one of my R's. It's just so, so bad. These plays are all just ugly. So ugly. Let's, whatever. I'll do this. Uh, because this at least with Z E kind of makes a decent lane to to play. Hey, Draction, it's going okay. We played a few games. Uh, I would say in general, my last couple streams, I'm not. It doesn't feel like I'm winning very often, but I'm having fun when I play, which is the most important thing. Um, and uh, yeah, just contemplating. So the big news from Scrabble Land today. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> the big news from Scrabble Land is that a really big team-based tournament has been announced for 2024 that I think is going to galvanize a lot of strong players. My, well, I say strong loosely for myself. Um, so I have a bingo. Um, I seem more energy-filled earlier today. Oh, um... Yeah, I felt I was a little better. I felt a little better earlier today uh, for various reasons. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good in general. My energy is good. Um, my vibes are good. I am getting my butt kicked by Grandmaster Computer. So what was my, I wonder what my bingo was through, through, an, through an O? I don't even know what it was. Do I think, uh, do I think 
that the alchemist yeah i do i think this will be the i think the reaction to alchemist cup 2020 or 2018 was such that a lot of players that play the u.s english or north or north american english were watching that and saying to themselves man i want to participate in this i want to do whatever i can to to do this and uh i think we're gonna see that for sure um, with a couple people that it'll be it'll be the the straw that you know pushes them over for a couple people uh, All right, should I do this because it scores 50 points and sets up my R? Um, now nah, I'll just play your to like a, Like a wuss. I don't know. They're probably pretty close This is fine. We'll just do this <laughs> Oh man uh, Or weed doesn't fit anywhere um, so yeah, this has not been good. So hot in Barcelona. Yeah, I have, I have been very unwilling to go outside. Funerary. Oh, through the end. I wasn't even looking through the end. Yes. Very nice. Um, and oh, we got, we got hacks or typo. I made it and I brought pizza. Well, pizza is not my thing. Um, but yeah, I normally, uh, would enjoy a slice, but no longer. Um, all right, let me see. How am I going to get a bingo down here after this? There's like nowhere. If I do this, is still nowhere. This doesn't really help me. There are a bunch of E's, so I can't just leave this spot open. So, okay, whatever. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm not bingoing on this board pretty much ever. There's no space for it. So, um, yes, if I do go outside, make sure to come over. Yeah, for sure. I would love to. Um, it's definitely on my agenda. I still haven't met in person a single one of my coworkers at Scopely, which is crazy because, I mean, under normal circumstances, not the pandemic, that would for sure not be the case. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just happens to be the way the, the cookie has crumbled. So I really, really want to make it out to Barcelona and obviously to even L.A. and meet some meet some of my buds. Um, so at some point it will happen for sure. All right, how am I going to get a bingo down here? Should I play this even though there's an O and hope that it doesn't play there? <laughs> no, I don't think so. What am I supposed to do? Uh... Should I play this? This doesn't do anything. Can't hook it. Should I play Moon? I feel like this might actually work because, oh no, S. It's gonna say Dune and Goon. Okay, that's never gonna work. <laughs> this might work though. Eon. This might actually work. This might work. Let's try. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, wait. Oh, Rondino is... Oh, no. Rondini isn't a word. D-nitro. Crin... Crinoid. Okay, I have something. All right, we're going to bingo out. There we go. Okay, so I bingoed finally, but... Rondini, <laughs> where did that come from? Tondini, probably. Well, there is an Andini word. Do I have pattern on here? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. And, and there we go, there we go. You see the be <laughs> this beautiful dictionary that we play. Damn, would I have challenged that? Oh my God, I don't even know. Um. So yeah, oh, mid iron too. Mid iron was, uh, I guess that didn't quite fit though. Um, so hold on, let's see. Have I missed any cool comments in there? Uh, if you play at the first turn of the game, your chi is always centered, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, we, we shouldn't put extra typo on the spot right now and force him to say anything, but I have to imagine that Josh has seen the Alchemist Cup announcement and is highly motivated to play in that tournament, if I had to guess. 
I I don't I I'm not gonna speak for him. Oh my god, GT man again. He hasn't had enough. He hasn't embarrassed me enough. Um, second to register. Okay, that tells you all you need to know. So extra typo. Second player to register to, to Alchemist Cup to get ready to play for presumably Canada. <laughs> He'll handicap. No, don't. It's fine. I it, if we play enough, I'll eventually win. I promise you. <laughs> I'll I'll win a game at some point. You don't have to handicap yourself, but we can we can play another one for sure. So, all right, I got good letters. I'm a good, I'm, I feel like I might have a chance to bingo here. I can see a bunch of eights already. I'm not even going to say what they are. Um, there's no need to handicap. You should feel totally fine to, to beat me on stream. I, it's fine. Um, this is interesting, though, with the turn history. This, this, like, little, it carries over from games that aren't, the one that you're playing that's definitely a, a thing i need to take a quick picture of this actually um and put it as a bug let me just grab this uh okay save this as bug uh okay all right bleeny did that manage to dodge me I, I feel like N, N, what is N? It looks kind of familiar. I don't know, maybe I don't have it. Um, okay, in that case, what about looking through this L? For double doubles. Oh man, this is a shame. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. I feel like I had a bunch of letters that I thought were pretty likely to appear. Um, hey, Adam, what's up? Good to see you. Um, so, all right, let's uh, let's move on then. So I'm not gonna get not gonna get a bingo here. I don't think. So I'd like to keep an E and I'd like to keep some other good tiles. So do I have, yeah, I do have a word with this. So if I wanted to keep T E as the two best bingo tiles, I could play Holmic. That seems all right, I guess. Um, just Hom is probably okay. Also, this looks like it's pretty good to keep an even better bingo leave. This is really good. It's not too bad. I mean, this is definitely kind of a scary overlapping spot right here, so I'm not loving that, but I guess this is okay. Um, uh, there's also biotech. I don't think I want to do that. It takes me so far away from bingoing, and I can get pretty close to bingoing with not that big of a point sacrifice. So this would be 21 leaving sight, and this would be what, 26 leaving ET and offering much less back as counterplay. Mm, these are these feel really close. These feel really close. Um, okay, let's just make a, let's make a choice here one way or another. I think these plays are super, super close. I will play Holmic just because it's a little tougher to find good scoring plays. I guess the best spot to score is going to be here, which opens up the board. Um, so I'm going to play Holmic. Axer typo approved play. So I got to, I, I got to feel good about that. If it's Axer typo approved words. Yeah. Chat, chat. I, so I thought of most of those, um, Sorry, check. I don't have uh, I don't have check on my bot, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it is it is a word. So um, yeah. Oh right, there's a yeah. Mo oh mo oh wow, Jello Mokiest. Jello Mokiest is a Collins word. <laughs> yeah, um, but. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, isn't there a Collins one with, um, there's a Collins one with R too. So chromite, tri, tri, chome, trichome or whatever that is. And hormetic is Collins only. Um, Hey, CL. Hope, hope you're doing okay. Yes. I had my, uh, I had my infusion a week, a week ago today. Is that possible? No. A week and a day ago, I think eight days ago, I had my last infusion, or maybe I maybe it was two weeks ago. I don't even remember. But uh, hope you're doing okay. Hope it's been at least relaxing. Usually, I feel pretty relaxed when I get my infusion for Crohn's. Uh, I just sit and get my IV drip. But there are times when it's legitimately uncomfortable because I'm not not feeling very good. Um, so hope hope you're doing all right over there. And thank you for stopping by. Obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think the 15, I don't think the 15 is anything. I think that those are two independent, independent. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's much worse. Yeah, camera work. Yeah, okay. So CL is talking about something else, not infusion. <laughs> and I'm so sorry for misunderstanding. And that is uh, significantly less pleasant than uh, than even infusions, which can be not great. But uh, yeah, getting getting that scope in, scope on, it's not fun. Um, yeah, glad glad it seems like you're doing okay. So all right, let's see. I feel like a play with this hook is very likely to be correct. The question is, what do I want to play? I guess this sets up the S, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not really that worried about it. This sets up other stuff like the N. I think that might be it. And it set, this sets up a ton of stuff in Collins, but very little other than the N here. But I think in general, Let's let's consider other ideas. Like, what if I just play wet or, or maybe wheat? Does this make any sense to use my ease up? Ah, man, I really don't want to do that. What about whoa? <laughs> These plays are all super close. I want to split the hairs and try to find exactly the right one, but I probably should just play something and move on. I guess this is all right. Any any parallel play here is going to potentially give me a counterplay to the triple. I don't know. I'm actually tempted to play this, frankly. I feel like this, I don't know. Could that possibly be right to do? SSSTTT, there's eight hits on this. HAE is very scary. This is like it, playing just HAE for 17 is definitely uh, is kind of scary. Do we want to humor actual typo and use the G? This is actually really difficult to score on it, it, compared to wet. I feel like this is significantly harder to do anything with. It's tempting. This is tempting. The thinking of wheat over wet is simply that I have another T. So, so the reason the reason that I would do this is to set myself up to play tweet aggressively on the next on the next turn. Um, that's that's all. So. Um, yeah. Oh, you guys are saying wet. Yeah, this is fine. I actually think, I actually think I prefer this though, to all of that stuff or what one of these things. So, all right, let's try this. I feel like this is all right. Okay. I drew tangoed. Um, is there a bingo to the eye with this? Yeah, this was a pretty good pickup for sure. 
Yeah, so yeah, the so wheat was super aggressive, but as you say, leaving leaving no E's when you can leave an E for a similar score is definitely the E is always that nice letter that gets you closer to bingoing. So if you're gonna use all your E's, you need to be prepared that in most cases you're damaging your bingo chances. Um all right, so let's say in a theoretical all right, clean for seven. So that's going to actually allow me to bingo here. Imagine that. I did it, gang. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good place for that play. All right. Oh, man. Look at this. Almost. There's almost like a D would make this like a massive play, but that's okay. Even just joy. Even just joy is quite good here. So we're going to do well. I have never. Oh, did I not? Did I miss a thing? Oh, I have never spotted angle pod. <laughs> yeah. Um. I discovered uh, angle pod reminds me of a story. Uh, when I played, I once played a robot in a game of Scrabble. That is really something that happened. Um. Let me find this. Where is my? Uh, it would be here. Um, so I once played robot, Will Anderson robot Scrabble. Is that going to pop up? Yes, it does. It does pop up here. So I, this is, this is pretty amazing. Just quickly. This is me playing a robot. Has it, has it, has anyone seen this before? It's pretty cool. Yes, the one that didn't let me play Apeist. Exactly. So I played this thing. You can see blah, blah, blah. Eventually I make a play. I don't remember where we were in this game. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. This is how it plays. Or this is how it redraws its tiles, I guess. Um, so then it draws its tiles... It, oh, right. It draws its tiles only before its next move. So here it goes. It's making its play. It's making its play. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, I came away with all my fingers intact. Okay, so, all right. The, the actual story here is that against this robot, it played the word... I played the word worm here, right here, in the lower part of the board, I played Worm. And then it frigging dunked on me and extended it to the triple by playing Angle Worm. <laughs> angle Worm, yes, it played Angle Worm as an extension to the triple. And I was like, damn, robot, this is frigging crazy. Yeah. And then years later, because that was several years ago now, I used to just play Joy. Um, several years later i re i discovered that angle worm has a collins anagram <laughs> technically guessable right it's uh, it's technically a guessable word it's it's a normal looking word it's not like edmund spencer or whatever or anything it's not worm angle no it's not worm angle it's not glower man yeah it's a fun it is yeah muffin with tentacle are you familiar with this pairing already these two words or did you did you have to do a little lookaroo to see what this word was? So I, certainly I did. Um, so yeah, the word. <laughs> no, I cheated. Yeah. So the word the word is lawmonger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Scrabble got it right as I there's he got it as I said it. That was a legit find on his part. Um, lawmonger. That's the word. Angleworm Lawmonger. That's pretty funny. All right, I got to play this here, I assume, right? 43, or maybe not. Maybe I need to not do that. Is it possible I should just play this? No, that's way more. Um, I mean, these plays are kind of scary. Keg, G, these are like as close as you can get to bingoing and not having a bingo. But whatever, I'm going to play this. It's 43 points. Let's go for it. Uh, oh, Loaf? Where's Loaf? Oh, Loaf is great. Yeah, Loaf is great. I just didn't even think of that. Loaf is totally great. 
I mean, Fados is 43, so it's potentially still better. But Loaf, I should have seen that as an option. It's a pretty good option. Um, is, that, <laughs> is that my definition of guessable? Maybe that's a little extreme to call that quote-unquote guessable. Yeah, Flea was also fine. Flea, Flea is fine, too. Uh, but I got lucky, and I drew well here, so I'm going to play something for a lot of points here. Um is there like a, I don't think I have a good play in that spot, but I could just play ads or I guess days here. Can't play a vise. Do I have a, maybe I should play caved and leave my Z. What are my prospects for the Z if I keep it? Let's look around. So when I have the Z, I'm thinking to myself, wow, I want to score with that beautiful 10 points of the Z. But if I can if I can play days for 47, or I could play something like this for 29. That's not even close. I would play this for 36. That's what I should play. If I'm not playing the Z, but then I got to think, where am I scoring with it? Is it really worth putting the nice E and D out in space like that? I don't think the answer. I think I should play Zeta actually. Let's do this. This seems fine. Azide. <laughs> oh, check this out. Look at that rack. Okay, so challenging a challenging rack awaits me next turn. Um, at least the board is qu quite terrible. Um, yeah, Flea, I totally forgot of looking plays that make good G-hook. That would have been nice, for sure. I would have been happy with that play. Although, Fados is still pretty good. 42 is a lot. Flea would have been, what, 24, 5, 6, 7, 9. Oh, Flea is well, is well more than enough points to be worth it. Um, so, all right, let's see. Where am I going to play here? Board is quite tight. That's a good thing for me with a solid lead. There's very, there's not a lot of like, I have these two V's. I would love to use them defensively here. <laughs> Already exchanged? Is it that, is it that bad? I mean, maybe. Um... I feel like I, I feel like I can do something good for the board here though. But maybe that's maybe the best thing I can do is exchange. Also because there's both blanks unseen, and I really don't want to be slogging here and then get blank bingoed on multiple times. So it's probably okay to exchange down to I don't want to keep an eye because there's a lot of eyes. So the I is out. The R, normally I would want to keep an R, but there's four R's too. So this is looking kind of like exchange seven to me, actually. Um, I'm not sure. Hey, Ruby J, nice to see you. Trying to come up with a nice play here. Uses some Vs and stuff. I don't know. Var. That's this is a shame that I can't play this. Dot gov. This is, ugh, no, can't can't deal with UVV. All right, let's go for the old switcheroo, exchange seven. I don't like keeping any of these letters. Um, we'll, we'll win prediction, nice. Okay, that's different. So I'm actually not up by very much now, so I'm like, I need to... I <laughs> can't see can't see the good plays with the patriotism. That's right. We want to I want to represent my country once again at Alchemist Cup 2024. I hope it happens. I hope I can get the rating required. Usually for me getting rating is like the easiest thing in Scrabble. Actually winning Scrabble tournaments is a little harder <laughs> for whatever reason. Though I have one I I am I'm able to win some of them, but definitely like I do well at keeping rating because I'm just a try hard. I never get discouraged and have tournaments where I just kind of give up completely. So that helps 
keep the rating up. Um, all right, let me see here. I have OXO, is this worth doing? I don't think this is even that helpful. That's not that helpful either, and way fewer points. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this is very good. Uh, or I don't know, maybe it's not so bad. Okay, maybe this let's maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. This seems this seems more reasonable. Although is this really that bad? I don't know. This this is probably it's a few more points. It gets the O off. I don't know. This doesn't look super much worse. Oh my god, overtime. I didn't even realize. Wow, I'm having so much fun that I didn't even realize that I'm about to go overtime. And I did go overtime. Uh, this is a shame. Yeah, it doesn't fit. There's a Collins version of this, which might, if I had another I instead of an E, I think there would be a word I can't play. So, all right, I have Riveter on my rack. How does that help me here? Not a lot. Retrieve would be a play. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, that's the word that I was talking about. So that uh, this is the U.S. spelling of this word. So we got to play it, unfortunately. It's going to make the massive S hook. Yes, you can get in. I promise we will play next for sure. All right, so I'm up by a lot. And of course, a big S play could still hit me quite hard here. And it's probably about to happen. So I'm up by 150. But I'm going to, oh, the bot is, the bot doesn't, this is the older bot that doesn't let you, um, that doesn't let you do that. So re, re-invert is not valid, inverter only. But yeah, that would definitely be nice. All right, um, I should just play, this is not a word. I should just play something here for sure. I guess I could just play sup. Sup, sup, bro. Yeah, Spiff is Collins, yeah. All right. So now I have fruition, fruiting. I don't expect to get any of that stuff, but I could play something here. I could play something. I don't have any G hooks now. Ooh, good idea to put the S there. I actually can't do very much with it. So I'll just play Finn. The reason I played Finn over Fur is that I like the R here. If I can draw an E, which I didn't, the R would work a little bit better, but I could have missed. I could easily have missed plays in any number of places at this point. I'm just trying to go quick. Um, and because T, I, R, oh, right, right. That's another great reason. <laughs> uh, oh, right. What would I? What was I thinking? Fit. Right. I was thinking a T. So probably the N. Probably the N is the worst of the three between R, T, N to to mesh with the S. But mm, maybe N is better. All right. Um, I think at this point now, if. I don't think upmost is a word. So if I just do this, it's gonna be very it's gonna be very hard to bingo off of this, I'm pretty sure. Uh new follower, thank you very much to the Stan. Appreciate the follow. Thank you. We're doing well on all of our like uh channel metrics, by the way. Um you know, we got tons of followers from SPC and from uh, Word Cup and, you know, onward and upward. I have to say, I I can't say yet what, but there is going to be some pretty cool stuff coming to Twitch very soon this year, later this year. You have not seen the last of fun Scrabble content coming to this channel. That's all I can say for now. That's all I can say for now. 
Haven't played Scrabble in over 20 years. This is both fascinating and amusing. Hopefully you're not laughing at me as opposed to with me at my dad jokes and puns and silly plays and whatnot. But obviously appreciate that. Thank you for stopping by. Um, basically, it's, you know, it's a thing here on this channel to try to get uh, Scrabble the recognition it deserves for being such a deep and complex game while also realizing that silly stuff happens all the time with crazy words and whatnot. So, um, all right, I, I managed to beat GT Man. It's a heroic moment for me. Uh, and we're going to now play... Uh, oh, G no, no, he's challenged me again. <laughs> I have I agreed to play uh, official Gidfather in a match right now. So Gideon, if you do you know how to find me? There are actually three... Wanderer 15s. You got to pick the one that has the picture of me. The others are are um, the others are um, test accounts that I made. So let's see. Uh, oh wow! This wow! Somebody going all in as a as a doubter. Hurtful. All right, there it is. Gideon, can you can you rechallenge me with a game that's quicker than forty five minutes? Or, or you can just agree to play fast also. But if you can, if you could just resend the challenge at like 15 minutes would be good. 25 is also okay, but it is a little late in the stream. So he predicted a tie. <laughs> just a waste of points. All right, you'll play fast. Okay, let's just play then. Let's just play. We'll play. We'll go a little bonus content for you guys. Um, if the game runs a little long, so be it. I do have a couple things still to do today, though. Um, so we are playing... Uh, wow, he really is going to play fast. Um, bow for 44 is a beautiful play to start. Um, so official Gidfather, if you guys are unaware, is uh, a decorated veteran of school Scrabble and is one of the stronger young players in the country today. He was the winner of the online stand-in for the school Scrabble championship in 2020, I think. And he was a finalist this year at the in-person event. And that's we don't need to say any more about that. Um, which uh, that was a, a heartbreaking moment but also an amazing moment because he played amazingly to get into the finals. Um, but a crazy, crazy finish in that game. So, all right, let's see. Is this going to be accepted in this? Yeah, it is. Um, that's probably okay. So with this rack, I have duplicated A's, duplicated I's. I have a Z that I want to score with. Um, it's going to be tricky to hit this X, I think. I don't think I have a really good play with that. So I'm pretty sure that this is a decent play. It has it has an issue with um, giving a really nice spot back. It also has an issue of I have an S, and I want to make a good S hook for it, but this isn't really – it's going to be hard. But that being said, I don't really feel that I have anything much better than this. So we'll go for this. Okay, I have a very similar rack. Oh, Nazi above that. Oh, that's significantly better. Yeah, for some reason I totally missed that. As I'm, uh, that's way better, setting up my S and scoring way more points. So that is a, a pretty big mistake. Yeah, that's a huge. That's just a. That's a total oversight. Yeah, total oversight. I didn't see that. Feeling feeling the burn a little bit here. Um. Yeah, oh, Bonsai would have been fun too. But yeah, that was a significantly better play, and certainly, karmically, I deserve to get hit with a massive play here too. But you never know. Maybe he had an S, and I would regret playing there. But that's a clear mistake for sure. Um, thank you, Axer Typo, for your mod modly duties, performing them so well. I did not see that placement for sure. Oh, wow. Just fishing the U. Very scary to see just that. Um, it means Gideon's close to something good. Um, okay, I don't think I have much else to do now that my Q plays were blocked pretty effectively. I think I just have to play Chi here. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here too, but that's fine. Moving on. 
Um, <laughs> nice. Josh is so active on the chat on the first day of his new job. Hey, awesome. That's uh, exciting. Exciting extra type of employment news. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I wanted to, I saw the notification that Josh was streaming yesterday, but I had to go pick up, I, well, I was playing my normal weekly code names game, but I had to leave early to get my wife, Allison, from the airport, which I am so glad that she is back. Missed her a lot. All right, this is going to be a good play, actually. This word is one of these words that is very rarely seen but is very useful to know as auntlier nice play more auntly um i don't think that changes anything for me i don't get a p for anupsias which is probably the only bingo that i could play so this looks great to get rid of all these vowels and score 26 points i'll take it i'll take it <laughs> All right, so I'm slogging a little bit. I did obviously miss a very much better play. I should not have been playing this. This would have been a much better place to play that word. But other than that, I'm struggling here with my tiles. So I have, I still have time to get them back in fighting shape. But it's going to be... I just need to hope that uh, Gideon doesn't have that much good stuff. All right, this is, unfortunately, this is not playable here. Uh, or else I would be wanting to play that. Um, what do I do here? So many vowels. There must be a good way to do this. Um, somewhere. Gah! Unfortunately, that's not a word. Is it possible that I'm supposed to do this for 22? Oh, I really don't want to. Really don't want to do that. I guess I have to do this, huh? 18 points leaving AAS. I think this is as good as I can do. I don't love that there's no great S hook on the board, but the S is a good tile. So we're going to have to keep it. Let's go for this. Okay. I don't have Titania's quite fitting, unfortunately. I have a Tains. I have, oh, I have, oh no. I don't have anything through the E. <laughs> Wait a second. All right, hold on, let's pause here. I don't think I have Titania's because anat is not a word and I can't fit it the other way. Sanitate, LOS is not good. Astatine, also not good. R. Oh, here. There we go. Okay, I have something. This E. So I was I was getting upset that I didn't have anything fitting through this E, but at least off the beaten path here, I have this spot here. Oh, Hive. All right, so Hive now sets up a spot for me. If I want to play Attains, I can do that instead, which I think I want to. The reason I want to do that is that it's a lot tougher. It needs very precise overlaps to play something big in this spot or a six letter word here. Whereas if I play something like sanitate, certainly just floats an S right out in the open, really scary. Any word that Gideon sees will fit there for good scores. Or if I try to avoid it by playing astatine, this spot could be incredibly damaging, much more so than the attained spot, plus I get a bunch more points. So, uh, well, hold on, let me just see, am I missing anything through this A? I haven't even looked through this A. I don't think so. All right, let's just play attains. Um, fun possibility that is not playable here, but would be in UK English, is that this is a, oh, damn, okay, well. This I would fit there uh, now, but that's bad for me. <laughs> nice play, out seen. So I'm in trubs already here. He did have the overlap, but it's worth noting that had I played this other stuff, he probably would have hit me even harder. 
He says he's drawing insanely well. I don't I think I'm still feeling okay. I'm not out of it by any means. It's very nice of him to say that. All right. Um I think this is a Collins word. It, it I well, I know it's not NWL. I if it is a word, I think it's Collins. Um that would probably be good. Um So I want to I want to play through this A, probably. If not that, then what? I mean, this leaves two R's. I really don't want to do that. I guess I could play here. Uh, 26, not really doing much for me. Do I really not have anything better here? I need a good play through this A. Ramrod doesn't fit. It's not a good play anyway. Okay. Um, I'm not really seeing. I'm not seeing a good spot here. Oh, Mayor would be. Mayor would be a good play. I'm gonna go ahead and play Grody though. We'll play Grody because I saw it. Ooh. Ninety-nine. Do I have anything better than that? Vampire. Probably primeval. It's very unlikely to stay open, so I'm gonna have to. I should I should already I should be looking for other stuff, let's put it that way, because that spot is not that spot's not staying open. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I have improved my chances for next turn of playing a bingo. I have improved. So it's now I'm trailing by 42, and I have a bingo set going to play. I can't imagine there's any way, even in theory, that I would be able to, oh man, nice job. Primavera and Vera Pamil, very nice. All right, quick check to see, do I have anything from this A? I don't think so. It doesn't feel like I do. Usually my instincts are okay on, on this. I'm gonna trust my instincts and assume there's nothing from that A. Okay, so now I'm up, I'm winning, amazingly. Oh, let me not let me not uh, forget that bio can definitely take. I am really close to stuff here, so I'm close to bioplasm, forty five points. I'm also close to bio bios bioscope or bioscopy, so I'm actually quite close to a few a few things here. Um, the play that I think I'm likely to make next is clomp. But I just gotta not forget the bio spot. Sculpey, <laughs> right? Bio Sculpey. Um, shout out to to Sculpey, otherwise known as Scopely, <laughs> the company that I work for. Um, yeah, Clomp is definitely pretty good. I think I'm gonna assume that's a good play. Nice play. Okay, so that blocks that blocks that and takes a narrow lead. So now I got to think about what to do. So this is actually like if I'm able to play FLM somewhere or something like that. I mean, something, oh man, this is nice too. If I if this if only that were a word. Hmm. Okay, let me not fixate too much on this play, which is while it would be nice, it's really not essential for me to win the game to get a big bio play. Also, bioplasm is no longer drawable and actually hasn't been drawable. There's been no A's since Fanga. Um, if only that were a word, be playing this game every time. Yes, it is. that is totally relatable. We've all... Everyone has felt that and been in that position for sure. That's a very normal, <laughs> you're, 
you are completely justified if you're feeling like you're saying that every time you're playing Scrabble. There's good reason for that. Um, okay. Um, there's an L spot here. I mean, this isn't nearly enough points. I guess I could play, well, I could play Clomp here. 26. Uh, I think probably Clomp is narrowly better than Flop. What about this? I mean, this? No, that can't be right. I think I'm leaning towards Clomp here, weirdly. I don't know. I would love to keep the P for this spot, but it's not that important to do that. Um, maybe, what about this? 34 leaving CMP, is this worth doing? Ugh. I hate giving up the S, but it's not super powerful here. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Um, okay, I'm taking, I'm surely taking long enough here. I'll just play Clomp, I suppose. I don't really have a great bead on what I think is the right play here. Um, so let's go ahead and do this, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's always what you want. When, when you're a Scrabble player, you want to be making your plays by saying, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do this. That's exact. That's the type of logic you want to be bringing to the play every time. That's that's what I like to hear myself saying when I'm making a play I feel good about. Um, okay. Five vowels, 11 consonants. This seems pretty good. Um, this is risky, but if Gideon doesn't have very many vowels, and the odds are not great that he does... It's going to be hard to play under here. The only question that I'm imagining is, is it possible that playing brown is better? Because then I have F, F, E, and if I'm just able to draw a U or another E, I will have a massive play here. So uh, that's kind of that's tempting because the board is like... Bingos are going to be tough, not impossible, but tough. And finding a way to set up multiple scoring plays are kind of are kind of nice. Mm, tempting, very tempting. Especially because if I do a play like this, it makes two spots here. And I would probably prefer to hit this big one. Like this one is going to be, this one's going to be easier to hit if he has any vowel that fits there. And actually he might not even have, this allows him to play something in Y. If he has the Y, that I will regret it if he has the Y because he can play a lot of simple stuff that scores, that scores very well with it by playing BY. So maybe I should just play frown and live with, ah, man, I don't know. This is so damaging. If I just get an E, if I get any of EEU, I'm playing a massive play here. And I don't necessarily think that given the paucity of vowels, he might not have any of that stuff. Okay, this is tricky. I'm going to do this. This might be outsmarting myself a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so what I really don't want to see here is Gideon play something like Jury or Judy or something like that with the Y in that spot. If I can just dodge something like that, I'm going to play Feed for 52 next turn. I don't think this is a word, is it? Yeah, I didn't like that. Fadeless, I'm almost positive, is a word. Is there something through this L? 
Uh, oh, it might be better for me to play Fees next turn anyway, just to keep... Nah, it's probably okay to keep S's. SLS, it's probably better to play my D for more points. All right, so let's see what Gideon does. I think this spot, given <laughs> given the vowel situation, it's almost impossible that he's going to have something here. Maybe he'll play something with brownie. I don't even see how that's... Like, he could play something Y-E if he has the last E. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult for him to do anything in this spot. So, if he plays ju Jury or something like that, that would be bad. But my play would score roughly as well as that. So Jury would score 50, and then I'm also scoring 50. But he could easily not have a play that scores. If he doesn't have the Y, he's not doing anything. So we'll see. We'll see what he does. So this will definitely be the last game. So once again, I feel like I've said a couple times, I feel very personally excited by the news of Alchemist Cup 2024. It does feel like it's really long, long way away. What that is, if you're not familiar, is a team-based, a country-based team tournament where uh, all of the participating countries send their, their five strongest players and uh, they compete uh, in a 45-game marathon. You play one game against every other player. It's incredibly grueling, incredibly challenging, and it was incredible fun. It's called the Alchemist Cup because the organizer of the event is a very, very dedicated, passionate player named Michael Tang, and uh, he is just his anagram of Saint Michael, um, which I think is just of, is notable to him somehow. I don't know if he was named after Saint Michael. I think that's possible. Um, so yeah, that that is where that comes from. So over a year away, but definitely very excited. All right, I. Am now losing by five. This is kind of interesting. The Y still fits here, so I kind of feel like I have to play in this spot, which uh, I don't know. Actually, Gideon's made a clever play to sort of turn turn it back around on me. Um, a nickname that Mark Nyman bestowed upon Michael. Okay, Austin, thank you. That Austin with the the knowledge bomb, which I had no idea of that that's very cool um to know and there you have someone who actually knows <laughs> the the lore of scrabble better than i do um so yes nice that's cool oh this is tough though because i can definitely play stuff in here i could play flea for 25 but that doesn't score particularly well and i use up all my vowels so I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do here. I don't think I could play this either. But I don't know if I can withstand Gideon playing Jury here. I feel a little bit like I'm in trouble if I let that play go through. So... I get, oh, you know what? I should, maybe I'm supposed to do this to maximize my chances of drawing something wieldy in the end game. I don't know. Jaquirity. <laughs> nice. This feels wrong to me just because I hate the idea of giving up both of my S's, but I feel like I could handle it better if I draw a bunch of consonants if I just keep two consonants on my rack yeah tough pre end game so i should definitely if if i was really going to iterate this out i would be thinking about like what should i be doing here what if gideon has ky can he play can he play like he could play tricky he could easily have tricky here for a massive score and i can't avoid that and if he does have it, I draw W-U. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. I guess the the fact that he could have jury here for sure, but if any of the J, U, or Y are in the bag, then he can't have jury. So he needs a very precise... He has a very, very precise set of letters that he needs to have if he's going to have this play. So maybe I should not be worried. Oh, man. This is a trick. This is tricky. I know we're playing a million minute game, so I don't want to unnecessarily take forever when like it's it should be end of stream time and all of that stuff too but um maybe it's uh, given the duplicates maybe i'm supposed to play like feld or something oh this doesn't look right either this is what i really want Something here. Ugh. Maybe just this. That looks pretty good too. This gives me chances. This gives me chances of bingoing, actually. If I play my F, I can actually get bingos at the top part of the board that win me any time against jury. Although the problem is, I don't know, wielders. What would I? What would I be drawing that? So if he has jury, I can get wielders. I can get Ludsters, Collins. Wow, this is crazy. This is actually super crazy. I don't know if I love my chant. Like, I, if I play something like Flea here to block Jury and just get hit with Tricky instead, or maybe there's other stuff there. So <laughs> I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to play Ifs. I'm going to play Ifs. Delphs B6. Where even is that? B6. Six? Oh, just here. Yeah, that could be good. 22. Okay, I don't think this is necessarily correct, but this at least sets me up to, to endgame him, and I can just get a bingo a lot of the time. Okay, so I drew I drew the Collins thing that I said. I can't play wrestle. This is a Collins word, unfortunately. So the actual legitimate draw that I was just talking about is there. Um, weed, weedlets, I don't think that's there. So he probably is going to play jury here, which that's not very good, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe J, U, or Y is in the bag. Otherwise, I would imagine jury to be getting played here. So, um, yeah. So we'll see. Uh... Let's see here. So I would play deed or something like that. Or I could just play whoa. Do I really weedlets? <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, okay. Yes. Alright, I see I see all the madness happening in the chat here. Okay. Alright, I saw it. I saw it fair and square. Thankfully. I did see it. So we'll see. So this is now going to be... I don't even know what Gideon can do to save himself here. Yeah, the deleted messages are a spoiler, but I actually honestly did not see them until looking up there. So fortunately, I can hold my head high and say that I saw Tweedles, which is sad that it took me that long. But yes. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's just um, it's a function of all of our streams when Josh and I are here. Yeah, we. Oh, I can see the deleted messages. Oh, click to show. Yeah, which I uh, I, I was not aware that I could do that, but yeah. Um, 
Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so blocking blocking Tweedles and leaving himself jury that needs to be dealt with. That's pretty clever. Um, surely I, I have a way of winning this, right? Like this is... I should be able to block this and beat Juicy somehow, I assume. So let's see. How would I do that? It's not going to be easy, actually. <laughs> um, wrestled. Ludist. I have Ludist. Does that not play somewhere? I don't know. Um... This is actually hilarious. Okay. Um, how do I win this? If I... So I'm losing by five. If I play something like this, I don't think I can beat Juicy here. Can I? Wow. Maybe I have to actually beat Jury? That doesn't seem possible either. Looks like Gideon just friggin' owned me. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> uh, what about this? If I play this... Yeah, I think I'm in some trouble here. Oh, maybe... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can play something from the G. That doesn't block. Nineteen. I would be losing by fourteen. Juicy is going to easily win. I think I just lose. I don't know. This is interesting. I would definitely, if I were able to analyze my game, I would definitely want to here. All right, whatever. I I don't really. Yeah, D D E and Kier were quite quite blocky. Um, what about Twee? DLS. This might be the best I could do here. But even this, I would be... Okay, so after this, I am winning by 20. Juicy is going to score 10, 13. I would be losing by 14. I'm getting two points from him. I win. I'm going to win. If I play Twee, he can't I will beat Juicy with this play. <laughs> I think this will do it, folks, unless I'm missing something crazy. Yeah. Oh wow, people are predicting tie. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll play this. I'm pretty sure the best thing he has here is Juicy for 34. Swede, oh, okay, that's probably okay too. Yeah, Swede looks like it gets gets the job done. I didn't generate that as a choice. But then again, I do need at least a decent second scoring play, and I'm not sure if Swede has that. Just leaving DL does not really set me up. Well, that's not true. I have Lloyd. 10. So yeah, Swede, Swede is probably also a winning play. So there it is, juicy, juicy for 34. <laughs> so I now have to, I'm losing by 14. I have to score 12 or more. So if I play Lloyd's, it'll be a tie. <laughs> oh man, oh, this is funny. So Sweet scores six more and it leaves, no, it leaves, yeah, it leaves LT. So, okay, toil for eight. So the Swede wins by more. So it would be a better play for sure. All right, what to do? What is the actual prediction? I don't know, but I have to I have to I have to win. I have to win. Wait, Matthew Matthew predicted a tie. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man, this is so, this is, nobody predicted a tie? Okay, then I'm gonna tie, we're gonna tie. Tie game, we had to, we had to. Of course, to tie Gideon in the final game. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> yeah, that's literally the definition of rigging. Oh, they're equal, okay, they're equal. Cool. Six more points, and I would get six more points if I played Sloyd. Wow, that's hilarious. Okay, that was a great game, Gideon. That was fun. <laughs> Matthew, the genius. The genius, Matthew, predicting a tie and being correct through no rigging at all of any type. This was a purely organic result. Um, okay, we are a bit over time. That was a lot of fun. That was a great final game to end on. And I'm the best. no, we don't need to hear that. That's my channel trailer. Uh, who should be the raid? Let's have a look. Um, browse. Obviously, we could always raid Eric. We love Eric. Chess. This is funny. I just saw... Look at this. This is so weird. Hold on. Look at this. Look at the look at the categories here. Chess, 19,000 viewers and also chess 11 viewers. Very impressive. Uh who knew that chess was uh, so multifaceted. But okay, let's see. Who is Wait, why are my Oh, right, I see, following categories. Anybody playing any word games? Anybody want to? Yeah, need to get a picture added to the Scrabble category has been on my to-do list for a long time. And the people that I want to, the people that I need to help me do that are just not that, it's not a high priority for them, uh, basically. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and raid friend of scrabble uh i am rosen because we love eric and we just want to show him the scrabble love any way we can so we'll do that um anybody that's uh scrabble first and foremost eric rosen is a chess international master but he is also an extremely talented word game player. And I think, uh, you know, with enough Scrabble raids, we might get to convince him to, to play some Scrabble on his stream again, which I don't think he's done for a while. So anyway, that was, thank you guys for the good vibes. I appreciate that. I had a lot of fun as well. I think I played okay <laughs> compared to last week. Um, but it's not about how I play. It's about how much fun we have. So hopefully... Um, we will continue to have good streams. And again, I can't wait till I can tell you guys some of the other stuff coming to twitch.tv slash Scrabble in the near future. All right, gang, let's show Eric some love and uh, stay tuned for Axer Typo on Thursday. Until then, catch you guys later.